Hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel today we are going to take a look at the Sabre plugin for HitFilm Pro. It's a completely free plugin you can just download it I'll provide the link in the description once you install it uh, you can find it in the effects tab here so just type in Sabre and you can see it under video copilot Sabre. Alright so let's see how this works let's create a new text layer and we can just start typing our text and in the text tab I'm just going to increase the size of this text and in the layout I can just center it up like that to see the saber effect work you have to create a new plane layer for this you can you cannot just directly apply it on the text layer itself so let's drag in a new plane layer and let's drag the saber effect on this plane layer and you can just expand the saber and here we have all the different presets that you can select uh, this is the default preset and then you have arc reactor uh, you have the burning effect you have so so many presets here that you can choose so it's completely up to you which one you like I like the arc reactor more so I'm just going to select that and to apply it on a text you have to go into the customize core section just expand that and here you have the option to change the core type so I'm going to click on that and from this list I can select text layer and you can see it didn't up get applied it because it still needs the source text and that option is for some reason hidden and uh, I don't know why that happens but you kind of have to refresh the Sable plugin and we can just do that by changing it to a different preset and when we go back you can see that we have this text layer option now visible so here we can just click on that and you can select our text layer and you can see it just has applied on our text so again go back to our creator and there is our saber applied to our text and you can just play this animation in quarter resolution because if you play this at full then it's just going to lag uh, which we don't want so let's just play this in a quarter resolution and uh, get a smoother playback that is your saber effect and you can now just animate any property that you want let's create an animation create a simple animation out of it so we can just create a keyframe on start offset and maybe go to two seconds in time and uh, change it to let's start it let's start this at 100 we don't want it to be visible and at two seconds we just reduce that to zero so it will just you know grow like that looks really cool so you can create all sorts of animations by animating all these different properties and you have the flicker section you can just animate the flicker intensity and um, just looks so good and uh, realistic and you have different all these different options you can change the glow distortion amount and you can change its blend mode as well so you can you have lots of customization options um, now this was text layer you can apply it on a layer mask as well so you can create a let's create a new or let's bring in a new plane layer and let's hide these two and you can just create any shape I'm using a film pro 15 with the newest update you can just create a rounded rectangle mask you can create a polygon and a star mask as well so let's create a star mask and I'm going to hold shift key on the keyboard and just create a star like that and you can change the number of points and let's make this three so we create a triangle and uh, yeah you can change the inner roundness out roundness the ratio so it's completely up to you so once you do that then you can again go to the effects and apply the saber effect on your layer and uh, expand the saber and go to customize core change the code type to layer masks and it will just get applied to your mask you can even create a freehand mask so you can just create any shape that you want and it will just get applied on that shape um, you can also create a cool trailing you know animation or the map trail animation with this so you can um, let's delete this or just hide this mask for now or let's just delete this and you can animate the start offset like that so you can just animate the 
bath property like that. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can create such effects with Saber plugin in HitFilm Pro. And um, you might have noticed I used that Star Wars logo in the preview. And that was uh, because I used a font. This is a font called uh, Logos, I think. Um, let me just search for that. Yeah, this is the one that I used, Logos DFB. So it's a font that comes with uh, logos instead of letters. And uh, that's how I was able to use these for this animation. If you want to use your own image, you cannot just use a PNG or a JPEG image uh, as the Sable plugin doesn't work on those kind of media but what you can do is you can convert your logo or an image into a font and then you can install that font and then you can just you know use your saber effect on your own logo but maybe that is a tutorial for another day but uh that's it guys that's all i have for this video i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you learned something new if you did, then make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.